Hi, my name is Philippe Dancos, and today we are with Sam Richardson from Vermac. Sam, you are co-owner and co-president of the company. So please tell us a bit about the history of the company. Thank you. Um, my husband and I represent the third generation. However, no one generation has really done the same thing as the generation before. In the last 10 years, Vermac has known an incredible growth. We produce three times more equipment than we did then, and we're now represented in over 10 countries. This year, Vermac decided to update its vision and its mission. Why was this important at this moment in Vermac's history? With the growth that we had over the last 10 years, it was important to have a mission and a vision that resembled us, that spoke to us today as to who we are today. We've grown up over the last 10 years and it was important that our mission and our vision follow us. What was the process? How did you go about updating the mission and the vision of Vermac? The process was actually a year long. It uh, was made up of small groups um, individual workshops so that the information came out from the ground up, not from the top down. So really you wanted to involve everybody. So that's the mission, the vision was really coming from the words of the people in the company. Exactly. Today we're presenting Vermax's new vision and it goes like this. A world where Vermax innovative technology makes our roads safer for drivers and workers. Sam, tell us where this new vision comes from. At Vermac, one of our biggest concerns is ensuring driver and worker safety through the construction zone. We also have developed a reputation for being a technological leader, and we bring these technologies to solving the problem of safety. What's evolved in this mission, Sam? The whole notion of real-time information, of ensuring that there's communication in real time between all the stakeholders, the DOT, the traveling public, the workers, of having vehicles that are connected and bringing technology to ensure safety. There was a lot of work done this year at Vermax revisiting its values. Sam, tell us a bit uh, about the process you went to to uh, restate clearly these five values. It was a process that took us over a year. Um, we had small work groups. Um, it was important to make sure that our DNA, who we are as a company, came through. And the only way to do that was to ensure that it came from the bottom up. Values is not something that you impose. It's not who you want to be. It's who you are in reality. So why was it so important to state clearly these five new values? It was important because of our growth. Um, when we first created our values for the company, we were probably about 80 employees. We're now over 300. We're on two different manufacturing sites. We have to make sure that we never lose sight of who we are and what's important to us as a company. These five values direct our actions. They represent internally who we are and externally who we are. So it's the best way to sing the same song all across the company. Exactly, to make sure that we're preaching out of the same prayer book. So thank you, Sam, for taking time to present us these three important statements that will guide Fermax life for the next few years. It was important for us to share with our trusted partners our vision, our mission, our values. These are not just statements that are gonna show up on our wall. They're going to be our guiding star in the years to come.